Good morning, friends. Welcome to Good Morning Friends Podcast, where we bring the latest news and updates to you, the bride around the world. Welcome, everyone. Today is Saturday, May 21st. I am William McMasters here at the VGR headquarters in Jeffersonville, Indiana. And hello from Zimbabwe. I am Stephen Tutani at the VGR office in Harare. Well, Brother Stephen, this is exciting. This has been in the works for quite a while, and we're finally here, up and running for our very first episode of Good Morning Friends podcast. That's right. And I'm thrilled about this, Brother Will. I can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for us on this podcast. You know, before we aired, I was just thinking, you remember the CTV magazines, don't you? Yeah, I do. Those were awesome. Well, we would receive ours a couple of months after you all because of the distance they had to ship. But whether I was reading an overseas distribution report, a Young Foundations article, or a testimony, it was just such a blessing to read about the mighty works that God was doing around the world. I'm really happy that we've got this tool now to keep the bride updated on many more chapters of our book of Acts in this end time. I know, it is so exciting. You know, I remember a few years back here at VGR, we had a little internal newsletter for the employees. And uh, at that time, I was in the overseas shipping department and many times had no idea what was going on in other departments. The work was just growing so fast, and I didn't know what was going on in typesetting or in audio or uh, if they're opening a new office in this country or that country. But when we received that newsletter, it really helped to see the scope of the work and to see the impact of what God's great machine is doing, working together, getting the word into the hands of the people. And now that there is even more happening and at even a quicker pace, the goal of this podcast is to keep everyone up to date on VGR almost in real time. That's right. It's unlimited, I believe, what God will do with this tool. I got a neat little story to share with you just before we get started. I recently visited a little church way up in the eastern highlands of our country. The little structure is set on the side of a hill, and it's made out of these huge logs. Just perfectly picturesque, if you will. One of the things they did that really blessed my heart was a a tablet count. So the pastor walked up and asked all the believers to raise their tablets And they counted how many families had brought theirs in. It was just so sweet to see how cherished and how very well kept most of the tablets were, especially since we haven't been there in about two years. That is so neat to hear. I know why they cherish those tablets. That word is everything to us. Amen. All right, let's get started. First up. We have an update on the war in Ukraine. The fighting is now primarily on the eastern border of that country. For so many of the believers, life is returning back to normal. However, many of our friends are still vulnerable and needy in so many ways, as some of them have lost their jobs, had their house or apartment destroyed, basically making them refugees inside of their country. Brother Matty Honkinen, the Finland office manager, gave us an insight on how we're getting financial support to the Ukrainian believers. He says as long as they have a Ukrainian cell phone number, the VGR office in Pavlograd is sending immediate financial help to the believers who are either on their way out of Ukraine or staying in the country. Brother Matty has more on this. As long as they have a Ukrainian cell phone number, we can get help to them immediately. And we are so happy that our Ukrainian office manager, Brother Ivan, has made the decision to stay in Ukraine and help his fellow brothers and sisters in all the possible ways. And we see that the uh, need for financial help is growing while people have not been able maybe to work and the prices of the groceries have grown up. Because of fuel shortages and the perilous situation on the ground, Brother Ivan is limiting his travel within Ukraine. Thankfully, the cell payment system is still working, which is enabling us to continue providing the assistance needed. And let's not forget the greatest assistance we can provide for our fellow believers. Please pray for the believers that are still inside of Ukraine. We know that everything is in God's hands. I know that Many of them have expressed their thankfulness for your prayers. We feel and they feel that they are one with us in Christ. Lord bless you. 
Amen. God bless you too, Brother Matty. We certainly are one in Christ. Despite the dire situation that our brothers and sisters are facing, the Lord is doing some wonderful things for our friends in Ukraine. He certainly is. We have been receiving a surge of requests for message material throughout the country, as the believers not only want to be replenished with supplies, but also want to take advantage of the opportunity the Lord has presented to witness to others during this time of crisis. Now, just before the Ukrainian war started, there was a sister from Canada who felt it upon her heart to sponsor 10 Nagapo tablets to Ukraine in loving memory of a Ukrainian brother who recently passed away. We were able to earmark these tablets, but by the time they were produced, the war had already started, making it impossible to ship these tablets into the country. We were disappointed that we could not fulfill what we felt to be a special order. However, the Lord had a much better plan, a perfect plan. That's right, my friend. Only two weeks after the tablets were produced, the believers who had managed to flee Ukraine reported that in the chaos, some of them had to leave their country with hardly any possessions at all. Others left with just the clothes they had on their back. Well, Voice of God immediately produced an additional 25 tablets for these families. Today, we're happy to announce that the tablets have arrived in Europe, and they've already been distributed to the families who needed them. Praise the Lord. That is wonderful to hear. In South America, we are excited to announce that 1,000 Agapo tablets recently arrived at the VGR office in the capital of Honduras, Tegucigalpa. This was the first shipment of tablets sent to Honduras, and brothers Nelson and Ariel were very excited to get the distribution started. Once the tablets arrived at the office, we immediately started planning the distribution trip. Their goal was to have the tablets in the hands of the believers within 30 days. This week, they returned from a two-week distribution trip visiting over 25 churches and groups. That's almost 1,000 families that received an Agapo tablet. Oh, praise the Lord. What a blessing that is. May God bless the Agapo distribution team. We're thankful that they were able to safely complete this distribution trip. Moving on to Africa. We're excited to announce that 2,500 Agapo tablets destined for Zambia were expedited through the production phase and were just loaded on a container at the VGR dock this week. The container is en route to Norfolk, Virginia, as we speak, where it will be placed on a cargo ship bound for the shipping port of Durban, South Africa. It will then be trucked to its final destination, Lusaka, Zambia. The entire shipping process will take almost two months, meaning the tablets will arrive at our office in Lusaka in mid-July. And in the meantime, the Zambia office staff is staying busy preparing for a distribution trip to repair and replace damaged tablets, as the country has just recently opened back up for events and travel after a lengthy COVID shutdown. They will also be contacting pastors and churches to organize the next distribution trip for the new tablets. This will be the third shipment sent to Zambia, and there is still a need for another 15,000 or more tablets to fully cover all the believers in the country. But we are excited that the work is moving forward and the bride is being fed spiritual food in due season. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Malawi, in late January, Cyclone Anna slammed into the country, washing away homes, crops, and causing massive damage in its wake. Our VGR office in Blantyre reported to have lost power and water for four days due to the heavy rainfall and flooding. Some isolated rural communities were completely devastated. One area in particular is in Sanje. Located 180 kilometers from Blantyre, their fields were completely buried in sand, which means no food this season. Our Malawi office manager, Brother Saidi, started receiving calls for help from the believing families in the area. He immediately organized a trip to distribute staple foods like bags of mealy meal and other basics to some 434 families in Sanje. While on this trip, he saw firsthand the complete devastation caused by the cyclone to the believers' homes. VGR then provided the funds to enable the believers to rebuild. Brother Saidi was really busy driving across the affected areas bringing the material needed. Bricks and mortars, windows, doors, metal roofing, and overseeing the building of 29 new sturdy homes for our precious brothers and sisters. How wonderful. I recently spoke to a friend, Brother Saidi. He told me the houses are scattered in different areas of Nsanje, and this week he just finished visiting the recipients of the house, handing them the keys to their new homes. He says the whole village was excited and would gather around the houses as he'd hand over the keys. 
The families, churches, and communities are overwhelmed with gratitude and kept saying we have nothing to give in return. But many of them have been giving Brother Saidi plenty of live chickens to take back with him as a token of their appreciation. Brother Saidi said he took them on behalf of Brother Joseph and was hoping he would send them back to Jeffersonville to their rightful owner. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's precious. Oh, I think it's so wonderful that the Lord has provided a way to help these families get back on their feet. They are so proud of their new homes. How many times have we heard Brother Branham say, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever? Malachi 4, 5, or I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He quotes many of these Bible verses in his sermons, and you will probably be surprised at how many you already know. Brother Joseph has been choosing Bible verses pertaining to the ministry of Brother Branham, which are put to music, and we call these Scriptures of the Prophet. And recently, we released the fourth edition with 10 new Scriptures of the Prophet songs. That's so exciting. I know we love them. I know for myself and my boys, they're ages three and five. They sing them all the time. We were just out of town for a weekend trip, and my wife put them on in the car. We were all learning and singing them. <laughs> That's awesome. It's just so amazing how much kids at that age can absorb. And it just thrills my heart to see them learning these scriptures. I know exactly what you mean. I love that these tools are equipping these young soldiers with the word. And the tunes are mostly from familiar camp songs, which makes them really easy to learn. We sing them all the time for our family devotions, and they've been a real blessing. You can find these songs on the Creations website, and we'd like to encourage you to use this tool to keep the word in front of your families. Well, Brother Stephen, that about wraps it up for our first episode. Let us all continue to remember the believers in Ukraine in prayer. And be sure to keep an eye out for more updates during the week on Bram.org, WhatsApp, and our Lifeline app. We look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, God bless you and shalom. Shalom. Shalom.